Hey guys, in this video, I wanted to provide you with some in-game examples of Belveth's most common win conditions mid to late game. These two win conditions are splitting or snowballing and grouping and playing for resets. In the first game, I win lane really hard and play to snowball slash split. And in the second game, I lose lane pretty badly, but I play to group and get resets. I don't have a guide from the new season quite yet, as I'm still trying to figure out which items I like best, but I wanted to provide you all with a good educational video while you wait. Hope you enjoy, and be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace. Cool. Good. Either that or you just screw over like this. Oh, I didn't get that last auto off. That's rough. Perfect. That's checkmate. Oh, shoot! It's good salvage, but... I messed up my dashes. I think actually if I dashed correctly, I probably would have died. <laughs> I live. Scary stuff. Well, that ended well. Oh my gosh. She tried to W me. That's a Viego down bot. Oh, I juked that too. Oh my gosh. This guy's getting toasted. My gosh, that one actually hit. <laughs> As textbook, textbook. You're level four, bro. What's he gonna do? Really? You think so? Are you going to die for it? Okay. It's one of those, I suppose. Look at this huge wave. No, it's gone. <laughs> they nerfed it so much. <laughs> Actually, should have gone for chickens there. Still here. <laughs> K 
Okay, she's walking that direction. That means Viego could be there. That's one shot, that guy. Actually, I might have still been the first one, I'm, if I'm being honest. Yeah. I get two plates. Huge. It's like this game compared to the game against Lissandra is just such a stark difference. It's just it's literally just matchup too. That's the crazy thing. Like Oriana's abilities are all very dodgeable. Whereas Lissandra's are a lot more difficult to dodge and some like, not possible at all. to them. That's too bad. That's fine. Should end up being good still. This is such a big wave. Bye, red buff. Goodbye. <laughs> that was great. That was so great. That was a wild game. Messed up my uh, last dash, but still good. I cannot let him hit me with that Q. That Q is going to hurt. Yeah, I pretty much have to respect him for until I hit level two. Now. Perfect. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, he used this thing. That's really good. Nice dodge that. That's perfect. Good trade. He already used his potion, so I'm technically up in health. I can't let him do that. He's dead. Nice. Perfect. Good stuff. 
Kind of got a call, so now my sustain's gonna be through the roof. Good trades by him. I'm kind of messing up a little bit. Played this matchup in a hot minute. Oh, his yeah, his key range is going crazy. Right now. I need to stop. That's fine. That was actually good. I dodged his Q. Oh, that was so good. Okay. We are so we're so back. We're so back. Okay, perfect. Oh, we are. What? W didn't go off. Oh, we're so. He flashed. Man has flashed. Ah, uh, of course. It makes sense that he was playing like that. We're, we're just giving that for drag. That's fine. He's only got a long sword for damage. He's just going like, uh, try not to take too much damage from me, sort of thing. Oh, I dodged that, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Garthus. No freaking way. No, no, no. I thought his R was going to do more damage, so I went in. No, it doesn't take the last tower shot. Still up 20 CS on Pantheon. He only has two kills and I have one. But he, have a, he has Eclipse now, so obviously, you know. Yeah, he's just gonna deal a trillion damage to me. I probably actually just have to base because he just gets his empowered Q. He has Ignite. Okay, he's not even here. Yeah, okay. That's about what I expected. I don't even think I can help. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm just gonna base. It's not, there's not any point in me trying to help. I'm maybe he's gonna get canceled. He gets two kills, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just the Karthus experience. You been able to do this? No? Okay. I shouldn't die, even if he has ult. Oh, I, I should get this too, yeah. Okay, that was actually a really good swing. I actually had some good resets there.
Perfect. I a base. Nice thing is this build actually curves into um, like being useful when you're behind really well, so that's that's good. I think what I might end up doing is going Starax third instead of Bloodmail third because I'm behind. Because the AD isn't going to be as helpful as just surviving a little bit longer because of the shield. Yeah, because what's more useful to me right now is just staying alive for my team so that the enemy team has just another threat that they have to deal with. And I'll just try and keep this passive up so I can help create pressure around the map. I'll just go wherever my team goes and just try and stay alive as long as possible. Help deal with that. Create a wave in the bot lane. I get an extra little bit of attack speed. And we are in business. Yeah, I don't I don't need the extra AD in fights right now. I just need to be able to stay alive a little bit longer. Let's do a little bit more here. I don't think I just died a Pantheon if he ults, so I think we're actually in a fine spot. I think if he walks to me, it's a little bit more dangerous, but that's fine. Let's make sure I get XP, maybe even gold for cannon, just XP, that's totally fine. Let's use my E there just to create some pressure. My minion gets that. Unfortunately, Karthus things. I did end up dying. Let's go mid to protect this turret. Playing the game. Good stuff. Get my resets. Don't think I can actually do anything about that. Heck did I just watch? <laughs> it takes a lot there, but she heals a lot too. Good stuff. See, this is why I talk about about staying alive just long enough. Rek'Sai is healing a lot. Doing a lot of good stuff here. That's Pantheon's E done. Unfortunately, just barely hit, but the Karthus ult would have killed anyway, so it's not too big of a deal. Actually, not too bad right now. The Pantheon's ability is slowly fading away. But the problem is most of the rest of this team is actually really useful late game. So... That is one thing to think about. <clears throat> they did get a second dragon, which is a little annoying, but not too far behind in CS. My lifesteal allows me to sustain in fights, and then I'm going to be able to uh, shred some armor, which could be really good. Do already have a black cleaver, but I don't think having two, oh, well, we're gonna have three black cleavers. I don't think that's too bad either, though. Oh my gosh. There's only a handful of characters that would escape that situation. So much damage. I can't 
can't really kite that out, unfortunately, but that's fine. This is why. Yes, this is why we're building like this. Yeah, that's fine. She gets out. Oh, that was so close to killing, actually. Cool beans. Perfect. Ideal, actually. Okay, he won't be able to ult for another 35 seconds. Um, still might be pretty bad for a Baron fight. Got him to E over to his team. Got Pantheon on our dude. I got hit by a spear. Okay, I can't stop that. Set is going in. Do some ins and outs a little bit. Perfect. It was really well played. Mm, we did end up on the bottom of the exchange, though. Got a flash out. Can't really do much there. He dodged my W very well. I'm doing good weaving in fights, but it's just very difficult with how much damage they have. Our Jin now has three items though, which is really good. He's gonna deal a lot more damage. Almost got my Merc Treads. We have a lot of good damage and they're not really building armor because um, they don't have anyone super tanky. The only one that really can is Jax and Pantheon starting to now, but most of their team is squishies, which is going to be pretty easy to kill, so. Insane kiting. Yo, that's insane, actually. That's so good. Go back for Baron. Yeah, our team's playing really, really well. Works out very nicely. And I actually am having, like, I'm not having an insane amount of impact in fights, but I'm having a pretty good impact. This is exactly what we're looking for. Perfect. All right. Uh, the only percentage health damage they have right now is um, Leandries from Karthus and Eclipse from Pantheon. So we're actually in a really good spot. Okay. Now. My job is just to create giant waves. So I want to do this one, and that wave will actually mostly probably farm minions for me. And then I'm just going to group mid with my team to create pressure there. So, like, that minion will probably die for my minions. And I'll get, like, the XP and gold and stuff. Just like that. Perfect. Don't want to go too heavy will look but I will not get greedy with it because that is exactly how we're going to lose the game we already have my minions pressuring them which is really good at this point in the, th the game the main thing is just for me to create pressure in the mid lane and exactly what is happening right now is the pantheon is matching my bot lane wave I'm not even there If I was fast enough, I probably could have stopped the pike from doing what he did there. Just get my shield back up. Oh, that was really close. Doing some good damage.
I get the super coral from Jax now, not that it matters. Yeah, I'm actually ending up being more useful than Pantheon in these team fights now. Like, he's trying to one-shot our AD carry, but I'm just getting resets off of all of them. Yeah, now we're just end the game because of me. It's like, you know, obviously I didn't have that much of an impact early, but because of how I built, how I played later, I just end the game. Good stuff. That is how we do it.